Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Kun Jiang from Institute of Physics, Chinese Academic Science. Uh, I first need to thank the organizer to give me an opportunity uh, to, see, to this uh, wonderful workshop. I'll, today, I will talk something about the general theory of Jason diodes, and uh, this part of the work is based on, based on our recent archive work. If you are interested, please uh, take a look. I first need to thank my uh, collaborator, uh, Dr. Yi Zhang, uh, who is a uh, postdoc at KITS in Beijing, then he moved uh, to uh, Shanghai University now. My uh, student Yu Haogu and uh, Pen Fei Ni, and uh, uh, my collaborator, uh, Professor Zhang Binghu at IOP. I also need to thank my two uh, colleagues, uh, uh, Tian Chen and uh, Hong Ming Wen, uh, for their recent work on related materials. I also need to thank uh, Dr. Hen Wu, Dr. Yao Jia Wang and Dr. Yuan Feng Xu and Professor Ani for many useful discussions. And uh, uh, they kindly provide me the uh, manuscripts before their final publication. I also need to thank uh, Professor Nagasa, uh, Yang Fu, and Yanasi for their insight books. Uh, let me think about these uh, new topics. I, this is the outline of my talk. I will first uh, discuss uh, what is the uh, Joseph Tai effect and uh, their symmetry analysis. And then I will introduce the inversion symmetry broken uh, Joseph Tai effect and the time of symmetry broken Joseph Tai effect and uh, the application to our theory to this now being roaming uh, In this work, we have uh, there are many talks about the Joseph Dials and the superconductor uh, Dials effect. And uh, in the past uh, two years, there are many. Uh, uh, interesting experimental progress in this uh, field, including the uh, Naubin bromine 38, Naubin uh, superlattice, uh, aluminum chosen areas, and uh, a twisted ballet graphene, uh, tri layer twisted ballet graphene on top of WSE2, and uh, recently also uh, uh, NITE2 materials. But in this work, uh, shop, uh, in this talk, I will only focus on the now we're bringing three eight without uh, uh, any magnetic field. For uh, Joseph Junction, there are two important concepts in superconductors. One is the cool pair, another is the phase coherence of these cool pairs. Uh, Joseph points out that if you replacing two superconductors on the left and on the right uh, between a tunneling barrier, there will be a supercurrent tunnel from the left to right or right to left uh, due to the phase difference between these two superconductors. Uh, this is just a DC Joseph junction. But in a realistic system, a realistic Joseph junction is a parallel connected by uh, ideal Joseph junction and the resistance and the capacitors. Due to this structure, and uh, if you measure the I vehicle of a realistic Joseph junction, you found that uh, normally you will have some hysteresis. For example, if you apply a current in the opposite direction, if we find that after the IC of the critical current, then the system will develop a finite voltage with the resistance. But uh, during the dance wave at the critical current IC, the system will not go back to the superconductor directly due to there are still some charge inside this uh, capacitance you need to dissipate. And if after you dissipate this part of energy, you found that at the uh, one return current, IR, the system will go back to the supernatural states directly. Uh, this part of work is uh, normally called the ISJ model. If you're interested, please take a look at the Tinghams uh, uh, important book in introduction to superconductivity. Uh, in Dr. Hen Wu's work, and uh, they found that uh, when you measure the eye curve, curve the Naubian uh, bromine uh, 38, found that the current current in the positive direction, IC plus, and the IC minus in the negative direction are not equal, which means that the quit currents depend on the current direction. Uh, besides the quit current, the return current also not equal to each other. But we know that the return current will depend on the uh, charging history or the voltage history of these devices. Uh, both of them are non-reciprocal effect. 
which means that if we have a square wave of the current and the amplitude is I zero, and this I zero will be in between the IC minus and the IC plus. When you do this uh, square wave measurement, you found that uh, when current is in the positive direction, the voltage is zero, but the current in the negative direction, the voltage will finite. Uh, this behavior reminds us uh, the most well-known larger super effect in physics is the PN junction or the PN dials in semiconductors. In semiconductors, we have two types of semiconductors. One is the electron uh, semiconductor, another is the hold up semiconductor. When you put these two semiconductors together, you'll find that the dopants will uh, begin to diffuse to each other and form a deplenation layer. Due to this deplenation layer, there will be some building potential uh, due to the dopant diffusion. And uh, this uh, building potential will compete with uh, the voltage bias of these devices. Uh, for example, if you apply a positive uh, voltage in this uh, positive direction, you find that the, the current will increase quickly. But if you apply voltage in negative direction, you find that the current will uh, increase only uh, slowly uh, before the breaking down. And this device is, is due to the inversion symmetry broken. And the inversion symmetry broken of the deplenation layer will compete with the voltage uh, of the uh, outside bias. So what is symmetry broken in this uh, uh, just a diode's effect? Uh, let me uh, start from the reciprocal relation uh, in the time uh, system. For a time system, there are many uh, unstable reciprocal relations, but this relation will be long, uh, beyond the time of environment system. Uh, for example, the response of a uh, time invariant system on the opposite magnetic field are related to each other by a time flow operator because they are Hamiltonian are related to each other by a time reversal operator. For example, uh, if you have a time uh, invariant system, then you apply a positive uh, B, you can measure the uh, expected value of the spin. Uh, this spin amplitude will equal to minus uh, spin explaining value when you uh, apply a magnetic B field to this same system. Um, we know that the current is equal to dQ over dt. And this is also a time of so, uh, breaking uh, expectation value. So this current in the positive direction are related to the negative direction by a minus sign. So uh, notice here, in the superconductors, both the voltage and other external fields are zero uh, for these uh, uh, devices. The, so the Hamiltonian only have a current dependence and uh, therefore a critical current in the positive direction and the negative direction are not equal, uh, tell us that the Hamiltonian in the uh, positive current and the negative current are not related to each other by a Thomas operator. Due to this unsaga reciprocal relation, we can immediately know that this uh, phenomena tell us that uh, there will be a time reversal symmetry breaking for the Hamiltonian at current equal to zero. And uh, there are also another phenomena we mentioned that the critical current at the return current in positive direction and the negative direction are not equal. And uh, this return current clearly depends on the charging history or the voltage history. And this two uh, voltage control system will, will depend on the inversion symmetry broken, which means that the current, the Hamiltonian in positive voltage are not equal to negative voltage by an inversion uh, operator, as we found and discussed in the PN junction. And the interesting thing, this inversion symmetry broken just some dials effect have been uh, proposed and discussed uh, many years ago by my co uh, collaborator, uh, Zhang Binghu, and uh, to my, my, uh, my friends and collaborator, uh, Chong Jinwu and Xi uh, Dai, many years ago. At that time, they found that if you have two superconductors, one is a whole double superconductor, another is an uh, electron double superconductor. And uh, in between these two superconductors is uh, also an um, uh, insulator or multi-insulator uh, layer. There's a uh, 
uh, is motivated by the cuprates superconductor. We know that in cuprates, a whole doped superconductor and an electron doped superconductor are quite differently. And in between, you will have a, a mod insulator. And uh, after you put these two uh, superconductors together, and uh, this uh, dopants in these two superconductors will diffuse to each other, form a dependent layer. And uh, this dependent layer will form a mod insulator region. And uh, this uh, building potential inside this region will be compelled and compete with the uh, voltage bias outside as in the PN junction. But we know that in superconductors, uh, the voltage is zero. How can we measure this kind of effect? Uh, uh, interestingly, there are another uh, effect called the AC Jusserman effect uh, in Jusserman junction. We know that when you apply voltage bias to the Jusserman junction, you will change the uh, phase difference uh, between two superconducts uh, with a, a time dependence adding a VoT and a 2E over H bar into this phase uh, equation. So the critical current of this uh, system and the temperature, uh, the time dependence of this uh, current will show us, looks like a sine wave. However, if this system depends on voltage, we know that the critical current will depend on the voltage direction. So in this case, the AC just of a junction will have different behavior in positive uh, voltage and negative voltage. You can see that the IC uh, or the critical current in positive voltage and not equal to the uh, uh, negative voltage. This is, uh, can be measured to this uh, uh, inversion symmetry broken uh, uh, just on junction. Um, okay, thank you. All right, sorry for the interruption. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, there are some internal uh, building potential due to the, uh, the dopant diffusion and as a PN junction, uh, but uh, for superconductors, uh, there are no voltage drop inside this uh, uh, superconductors. What, how can we uh, measure the uh, system by applying a uh, voltage? Uh, interestingly, we we'll know that it's also AC just for conjunction. For AC just for conjunction, we know that the voltage will relate to the a phase difference by a time, uh, time, time dependence. So this uh, uh, critical, uh, th this current will have a time dependence with a sine function put inside of this uh, 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 phase. And if the critical current depends on the voltage, which tell us that if we can measure the uh, IT as function T uh, by applying a voltage, then the, if the positive uh, if a critical current and the negative critical current are not equal, which can be uh, measured uh, by the temp temperature dependence of I, uh, IT. So this is uh, one way to measure the uh, inversion break uh, uh, just on junction. So also uh, a study by uh, Professor Nagasa, they found that by studying the charging effect using the semiconductor, a semi-classical Jetson junction, uh, Jetson equations in an inver inversion asymmetric system. And in this case, you will find the return current uh, in the positive direction and negative direction are not equal to each other, but the uh, critical current is still the same. This uh, also uh, implies a top inversion symmetry broken effect in the Jetson dial effect. So in a short summary, there are two types of Jetson dial effect. The first one is the inversion uh, symmetry broken Jetson effect, which can be uh, de demonstrated with the critical current in the positive voltage and the negative voltage are not equal to each other, or the return current um, in positive direction and the negative direction are not equal to each other. There's also another Tamarosa symmetry broken Jetson dial effect, where the critical current in the positive direction and the negative direction are not equal to each other. We can also generalize this idea to the critical current in positive B field and negative B field, not to each other. Since uh, in most uh, just in junction, we're always using some normal uh, superconductors. And uh, what's the, how can we achieve with the dial effect microscopically? So the idea is just engineering the timing barrier.
So motivated by the now beam bombing 3.8 materials and the different effect, we take a streaming limit of this inversion symmetry breaking uh, just in junction. In this case, we, we say that the tunneling barrier consists of the insulated layer and a metallic layer. And uh, due to the metallic nature of this layer, uh, the superconductor in the right hand side will have some proximity region into this uh, uh, metallic region. So if this uh, have a proximity region, then if the voltage or the current can control the thickness of this uh, proximity region, and then we can reduce or increase the effective thickness of this Joseph uh, barrier, then we can uh, control the uh, Joseph junction. Uh, so in this case, uh, Joseph diodes can be achieved. So uh, let me first uh, start with uh, examples in the inversion symmetry broken Joseph diode effect, which are much easier for me to understand. Uh, so similar to the appearing junctions, we know that we need to find some inversion symmetry breaking our quantities and depending on the voltage jump. The first one uh, coming to my, uh, to my mind is a rush bar coupling. Uh, in rush bar coupling, you have two materials at the interface of between these two materials, you have some uh, interface electric field. And then this interface electric field will depend on the voltage and then induce some uh, rush bar stability of the Fermi surface. Another example is the ferro electricity. We know that for ferro electric materials, uh, at the finite temperature, there will be a spontaneous, uh, spontaneous symmetry broken in the, uh, for the inversion symmetry, and it will give you some uh, polarization. And this polarization will depend on the voltage of external uh, electric field. This has been studied in uh, ABO3 materials uh, many times. I think it's still other quantities, uh, maybe, maybe depend on the voltage. Uh, so let me start from the rush bar coupling uh, system. So we assume that the Manhattan region have a, a, a initial uh, a rush bar coupling and the rush bar coupling can be tuned by uh, voltage. And uh, we see that if you have different uh, rush bar coupling in this Manhattan region, the Fermi surface splitting will be quite different. And then you couple this rush bar metallic system to a right uh, superconductor, you see that the effective pairing induced in this uh, Fermi surface is also very different. And we see that uh, the 0.81 is much larger than the 0.41. Then we can couple, uh, couple uh, another superconductor on the left and uh, with adding phase difference between the left superconductor and right superconductor and the calculator the current as a function of the phi. You can find that as a phi changing uh, some uh, uh, Joseph uh, junction effect. And then you found this uh, Joseph IV curve, uh, I phi curve, you can see the critical current. Um, you can see that the alpha equals to uh, 0.8, critical current is much larger than the uh, alpha equals to 0.4. In this case, we can see that the greater current means a positive voltage and the negative voltage are different. And, but in this case, the greater current in the positive direction and the negative direction are not uh, are still uh, equal to each other by the minus sign. Another example is the ferro electricity. The most simple uh, ferro electric model is the rice and mini, mini model. The rice and mini model is uh, just a generalization of the two, three, four Hecker model with sublex potential. Whereas the SS2 model is just a, 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 have two subladders from a strong bound, weak bound, strong bound, weak bound. Then we add an ironic potential to this system in subladders A and subladders B. They'll give you some internal uh, charge indifference and give you a fair electricity by breaking the inversion symmetry. So we also, uh, then we also can assume that it is have internal uh, very electric polarization, and the polarization of the total system can be tuned by the uh, voltage. Then we can calculate the voltage as, and uh, the polarization function. We found that uh, that one voltage is zero is uh, have initial polarization, and if you tune this uh, voltage, the polarization will change continuously. In this polarization, we have two contributions. One is from the uh, winding center 
uh, of calculation of the charge, electron charge. Another is from the ion uh, charge from the AD supplies. In this case, we can calculate the grid current as before. In this case, I find that in the positive voltage, the grid current is still finite, but in the negative voltage, the grid current is almost zero. So in this case, you can demonstrate that the grid current in the positive voltage and the negative voltage are not equal to each other. In a short summary, we can uh, break the inversion symmetry and uh, to achieve a uh, just from dial effect by uh, return current not equal and the grid current in the post voltage and negative voltage uh, is not equal by many methods like the Rashba and the ferrum electricity. Another example and the most important example in this uh, workshop is a tamarosal symmetry broken just from dial effect, as I mentioned before. So to construct a uh, Tamarosal broken just from dial effect, we need to find some Tamarosal symmetry broken quantities. The first and the most important one breaking Tamarosal symmetry is the spin or the magnetism. For spin and the magnetism, you have a spin magnitude and the spin direction. Another one is the Tamarosal symmetry broken superconductors. For example, in the research of high temperature superconductors, we find some uh, Tamarosal breaking uh, superconductors like the D plus ID and the also, many proposals uh, of the D plus S superconductors. Also, we uh, have uh, mentioned also some PDW or FFO states. If we have only condensed into single Q, this one also breaks the thermal symmetry. I think you still have many other uh, quantities breaking the thermal symmetry uh, can be used to uh, construct just a dial effect. Uh, the first uh, simplest one is uh, you can assume that for the tunnel barrier, you have some uh, local magnetization, and this local magnetization can be tuned by the external uh, magnetic field. So in this case, if their magnetization are different, the Fermi surface splitting of this uh, metallic uh, tunnel barrier region is also very different, and the yeah, effective pairing of this uh, uh, Fermi surface is also very different. And the period current of the m equal to 0.8 and m equal to 0.4 is also very different. Then we can achieve a IC as a positive uh, B field and negative B field and not e to equal to each other. Uh, another example is the putting the tunnel barrier as a time also breaking pair. Uh, we assume that for this tunnel barrier, you have some strong correlation, and we prefer to have some nodal. D wave superconductors, but by uh, uh, attaching to another uh, S wave superconductors, this system will maybe give, uh, will uh, generate some tamarosal breaking pair. Then, if you apply a volt uh, current into the system, you will find that the effective pairing of this atomic barrier will differently. For example, in this calculation, we apply a current in the positive direction, the effective pairing. Uh, of the 0.8 is much larger than the negative uh, minus 0.8. This uh, process can be uh, understood by some uh, some second uh, perturbation theory. For example, you have a current IJ, and then you have the uh, opposite hopping, and then in this uh, right superconductors you have some pairing. If you generate this term together, you have you find that you have generate the effective pairing of I delta S inside of this. Uh, Region. And this one will compete with the original one and give you a different uh, uh, magnitude of pairing. Then you can also attach another left uh, uh, superconductors and calculate the grid current of the system. You find that uh, as function phi, the grid current in the negative uh, direction and uh, the grid current in the positive direction are uh, not equal to each other, which uh, can then show a camera of uh, breaking just on that effect. Uh, final, my example is the spintronics, uh, motivated by spintronics. In spintronics, we know that the current can rotate to the spin direction of the local moments and into uh, spin transfer talk or the spin optical talk. For example, if you apply a current to the system, the spin direction of the uh, devices will rotate uh, according to this uh, talk. So for example, 
if you have a, the timing barrier with some local moment in the SD plane with point to 45 deg uh, uh, degree, if you apply a current into the post direction, the spin, local spin will rotate turn to the SD direction. But if you apply a current in the negative direction, this uh, spin will turn to the X, X direction. But due to the spin and short speed only to the uh, uh, spin of the coupling, the critical current of the local spin are different. For example, we can calculate the critical current in the SD direction. It's much uh, larger than the uh, critical current in the uh, SX direction of the inner plane. But using this uh, phenomena, I think we can also achieve uh, just a thing that effect with the critical current in the positive direction and the negative direction are different. Okay, in a short summary, you can break the temporal symmetry and uh, you can achieve a temporal so breaking a different uh, that effect with critical current in the positive direction and negative direction are different. So uh, uh, we have discussed many examples. What are the happened in this now being bromine uh, eight? Yeah, interestingly, let me start from the electronic structure of this material. We found that in this material, the dominant physics is coming from the niobium, where the niobium form a Kagome lattice. And due to the lattice uh, structure, then also some terminalization of this uh, 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 material, and they will form a triangle lattice. If you do a modern layer calculation with DFT, you'll find that this one is a single band system, where the Marnier orbital of this uh, single band is formed by the three side niobium side. Uh, DZ orbital. But if you couple this uh, bilayer system, you'll find that this uh, bilayer uh, band structure will open a gap due to the DZ will uh, touch to each other. And the bulk now being uh, uh, bromine 3 8 is just uh, stacking all these uh, monolayers. And uh, two of them form a, a strong bound, weak bound, strong bound as we discussed in the SS2 model. And uh, this is, uh, can be another this, Z direction. This one has another name called the abstract atomic insulator. Uh, if you're interested, uh, please take a look at the uh, Yon uh, work recently. And uh, this SS2 model and the uh, rise in the model are very, very similar. So if they break the inversion symmetry, then some inversion symmetry uh, broken effect in the Joseph dice. And uh, we can also calculate the three layer uh, uh, beam devices. We found that two of them form a strong bound, as we discussed. This one is an insulator, but the layer three is a metallic one with a form of surface crossing the uh, band. All this uh, devices and the setup is uh, quite similar to our extreme image. So what is the origin of the terminal so breaking uh, in this Nalbian uh, uh, bromine eight. Uh, uh, actually, I do not know, but we can see some examples from this. Uh, their measurement in Dr. Hun's work. They found that if you apply an uh, opposite, uh, uh, a perpendicular magnetic field to these devices, you find that the resistance in the positive direct magnetic direction and the negative magnetic direction are not equal to each other. But if you apply an in-plane magnetic field, you find the resistance in the positive direction and the negative direction are not symmetric. We know that for a time river environment system, this should be symmetric, but this one are not symmetric at the T of the 10 Kelvin. It seems that this normal state uh, is already broken some time with the symmetry, uh, which maybe need to further confirm by experiments. And another thing is that if you might measure the critical current on the magnetic field, you found that then in this work by uh, uh, I know and you found that the critical current in the post direction, for example, the I plus uh, in the post direction and the, the negative direction are related to each other by tamar for operate. And this is a tamar environment system the behavior. But in this work, we can show that the great current in the positive direction are not equal to the negative direction in the minus B direction, which also demonstrates that maybe some terminals are breaking in these devices. 
and uh, also uh, other devices uh, by uh, few layer graphene also seem to break the thermal symmetry, not symmetric uh, under the B field, but this now being uh, devices is symmetric under the B field. Okay, uh, the last thing I want to talk is that the correlation in these uh, materials. And uh, interestingly, originally by collaborating my colleagues, the Tian Chen and Hu Ming Wen, both experiment and theoretically, we found that this material is not a uh, simple material. Uh, this is for, if you calculate the Navium uh, bromine 3 8, you find that the bandwidth is only about 100 mmHg. But this is a CL material, so the bandwidth is also around uh, 200 mmHg. The uh, half of the U of this system is on order 1 mmHg from the experiment. So this demonstrates that this material may be a strongly correlated material, which can host magnetization or a high temperature superconductivity, uh, not high temperature, unconvenient superconductivity, break temporal symmetry in uh, uh, no thickness. Uh, that's all for my talk. Thank you for your attention. So, thank you very much. Uh, let's all thank the speaker uh, for a wonderful talk. That was super interesting. <laughs> Okay. And um, we're now uh, open for questions from the audience. Uh, let's see. Are there any at the moment? Um, so I think if you use the reactions and then raise hand button, I see uh, Vala. Vala has a question. Please go ahead. Hi. Um, thanks again for the nice talk. Um, Hello. I was wondering about, uh, you know, in 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 the superconducting qubits community, we are aware of uh, a lot of non-equilibrium radiation and noise that exists mm -hmm. in real experimental systems. So mm -hmm. I was wondering if if you only have inversion symmetry breaking, but you are under the presence of some uh, non-equilibrium radiation that may be above the gap, mm -hmm. uh, could that cause a switching current that is different in the two directions of the current bias? Uh, in, in combination with inversion breaking? Uh, actually, I do not uh, know, uh, have an uh, exact answer. And oh, I will think about it and uh, send back to you later. Thank you. I never think about it, uh, but uh, this is a very nice question. I, okay. I do not have a, a short answer for this. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, thank you. Great question, Vala. Um, are there more questions in the audience? Remember also you can uh, type them into the chat. Let's uh, give it a second. People sometimes need to digest. You know, you know. Okay. There was a lot there. Ibrahim, I think is asking one, so we can wait a second for that. Um, Maybe in the meantime, I can ask a question. Mm -hmm. So, uh, right. So you were um, starting to mention uh, between the chlorine eight, bromine eight. Now there's an iodine eight, and I know people are making some other doped versions. Mm -hmm. uh, just a simple, naive question. Um, this uh, obstructed atomic insulator property. Uh, what governs, let's say, the magnitude of uh, this, um, essentially this dipole that gets made? or mm -hmm. and, and in these various compounds, would we potentially see a difference? And then would that difference be observable in if they show this, uh, the diode effect? So do you have a uh, speculation on that? Okay. Uh... I think the the uh, the the atomic uh, insulator in here maybe not exactly can be shown for them uh, for the Josephson uh, difference can more maybe not directly can be shown from the Josephson die effect. Uh, the difference is uh, between the I think it depends between the gap of this uh, when you're stacking mm -hmm. this together being strong bound and weak bound. Maybe the critic uh, the critic current amplitude will be uh, different directly from this measurement. Mm -hmm. This is my uh, my guess. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah. Maybe the right. <laughs> details can be calculated. Sure. Yeah. Um, so there's a question. Uh, Yaoji, are you asking a question? Sure. Maybe I'll just mute that person. <laughs> okay. Um, there was a question in the chat. Uh, in a superconductor normal metal superconductor junction, if the mm -hmm. central normal metal is a Rashba system mm -hmm. and a magnetic field is applied to this normal metal region, mm -hmm. but the proximity superconductivity is negligible, mm -hmm. do you still expect a superconducting diode effect? Yeah, uh, you, uh, you, the only thing you need to do is just break the inversion symmetry. That's not important to whether you apply a, a, a rush bar or something else. It's not, uh, not too important here. You can also see the uh, Jostrom effect in this uh, case. Great, great. Um, more questions? We have a few more minutes, I believe, right? Um, aha, Ilya, please go ahead. Uh, hi, uh, th thank you for the Hello. talk. Uh, so uh, the, the direction of the magnetic field is important for many of these uh, non-reciprocal effects. So, but then in uh, like, if you're just considering whether or not there's time reversal symmetry breaking, it doesn't depend on the direction of the field. So. Uh, are there additional symmetry considerations related to the direction of the magnetic field? Okay, okay. Uh, uh, because in that case, uh, uh, in most of my talk is uh, focused on the now being uh, uh, bromine three eight. There's no uh, magnetic field, so I didn't uh, take too much about uh, attention to the magnetic field. But uh, for the, for example, in this, uh, uh, in this. Uh, 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 work, the magnetic field have a difference uh, in the, uh, you, you need to apply a magnetic field to see this uh, uh, dial effect. In this case, you need to take the current and the magnetic field together as a, the time of breaking uh, a response and show your time of consideration. And this is a general idea, but uh, uh, the details will depend on the details analysis of the devices. So what about in some of these mechanisms that you proposed with the time reversal breaking diodes? Uh, what's the role of the direction of the magnetic field for, for some of oh, those mechanisms? Oh, you mechanisms? mean that uh, if you apply a magnetic field to, uh, to my proposals, will be some effect? Uh, right here. So here, uh, oh. for Oh, Ilya? Oh, sorry, sorry. So, so yeah, here, for example, um, oh, I, well, okay, sorry. So I, I suppose here you're considering a, a not necessarily an applied field, but uh, yeah. a magnetization in the system. Yeah, yeah. We, we do not need to apply a magnet field yet. But uh, for this case, we apply a magnet field to changing the amplitude of the local magnetization will have a, a huge difference. And so, okay, so how about in this case, uh, what's the role of the direction of a, an external magnetic field? Oh, in this case, if, if you imagine that internally or initially you have a local magnetization, and if you uh, apply a magnetic field to this case, you will tune this magnetization direct, uh, uh, amplitude. Then this amplitude is different than the uh, greater current of the system will be different. This might be uh, my naive uh, explanation. So it, in this case, uh, it's it looks like it depends on the Zeeman splitting. So the direction is not important. Oh yeah, yeah, Zeeman splitting. But uh, if you put, uh, apply a B field in the post direction, the magnet field. Uh, the local moments will increase, but if you apply a negative uh, B oh, field, the, the magnitude will decrease, then the critical current will be different. Mm. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Mm. You're welcome. Thank you very much, Elia, for a good question. Um, are there more questions? 
we're a little bit actually ahead of time, so we could uh, continue to grill Kun. <laughs> Okay, uh, thank you. If everybody is curious. Let me check the chat as well, sorry. Okay. Uh, I might ask, uh, could, could you return to the slide that shows this proximity layer effect? Uh, can you? Uh... Uh, pardon? Oh, I was wondering if you could return to the slide that shows the um, effect of having a normal metal proximity region. Uh, normal metal proximity region? Yeah, this one? Yeah, this one, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, this uh, real situation does not need to uh, uh, look similar like this. This is just an idea. Uh, for the whole system, you just need to break the inversion symmetry and the temporal symmetry. That's yeah. not need to be this this case. Yeah, I'm just, I was just trying to understand this in a little bit more detail. In the you know in the middle row, you're describing a um, you know a, a situation where clearly the the voltage plays an important role because it mm -hmm. you know, accumulates and depletes in the same sense as a normal diode. In the lowest row. Um, uh, uh, is it suggesting that also the a current, just a current, will also cause this shifting of the metal, the proximity region without a mm -hmm. voltage? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and and could you? Yeah. I, okay, that's very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, let me explain this to you uh, in this uh, my example of this uh, 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 D plus I delta S pairing. In this case, we apply a barrier with uh, some uh, temporal subbreaking superconductors and uh, apply to this uh, rider superconductor. And uh, in this case, we can apply a current to the system. You can find that the, you can calculate the, the, uh, the amp uh, pairing amplitude of this uh, uh, magnetic region. You find that the, the gap as function of theta are different if you apply a, a positive current and negative current, then you can change in the area, uh, the thickness, as I yeah. imagine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a fairly, okay, this is this is something fairly in detail, it seems like, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Th thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Val. Um, Again, we have a few minutes, uh, but we could also use that um, to set up the next speaker. It's up to Kun. This is actually your time. Um, otherwise, like I said, we will continue to ask you questions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, both okay for me, uh, but uh, I think uh, uh, Hen, uh, Hen maybe uh, very, very nervous. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, maybe maybe then I'll just in between I'll ask one you know kind of tinier question then uh, and then we'll switch over to one. Um, so you know it it sounds like then niobium three brominate is a might be essentially uh, breaking both inversion and time reversal mm -hmm. at least in this heterostructure rather it's breaking both inversion and time reversal right so. Um, I'm curious then, we heard earlier about some non-center symmetric and finite momentum, and uh, people I believe were, I forget who was also bringing up chiral materials. Mm -hmm. And uh, essentially, you know, I could make, right, a chiral heterostructure. Mm -hmm. And it will it behave essentially, I mean, is niobium 3 brominate essentially acting like a chiral heterostructure? Because you know, there's a small difference there about mirror symmetry also being essentially not there, right? And mm -hmm. we don't know if that's the case here. It's, explicitly, I would say it's probably not chiral. So basically, I'm asking, uh, can you speculate on a chiral system? Uh, I think you, you mentioned the work by Kitty Law. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And as that time, I know that it's a have your boundary mode. Every right. time you apply a B field, you will have a difference. And yeah, that's the work is uh, 
but I do not think that this is related to the Nobium or Bromine uh, eight system. And no topological properties here. The only topological pr properties are is the uh, SSG model we mentioned, uh, obstruct atomic insulated uh, properties. Uh, but this one is also not a chiral. Okay. But I, also the chiral symmetry or something similar to well symmetric will be break the terminal symmetry. It's a nice uh, try to construct uh, just some die effect. Mm 